Yeah. I'm Menaka Gandhi. I'm the Minister for Women and Child in the Government of India. I'm also the chairperson of People for Animals, which is the largest animal welfare group in the world. And all our members have to be vegetarian. We run 36 animal shelters. For, for what's happening? Abuse of animals, what you are doing to them, how to improve the situation, or how this stuff is very difficult, but at least uh, minimize, reduce, and make people more aware, aware of what the situation Well, the first uh, step would be to become vegetarian and to make as many people vegetarian or vegan as possible. That is the single solution to animal cruelty. Because if we stop eating animals, then our eyes also open towards the other ways we use them. For instance, using feathers for cosmetics, turning them into leather for shoes, using them, for instance, using animal fat in sweets. All this comes out of the single basic slaughterhouse unit, which provides meat to meat eaters. If we could stop eating meat, the whole world would change immediately. We would have better air, much more water. We would have 10 times the amount of forests. We would have regulated rainfall. The greenhouse effect would stop because the greenhouse effect is not caused by CO2 as much as it's caused by methane. And methane comes from meat, from animals who we use for meat, from cow dung that we burn. All our forests are reduced by animals who go into the forests and eat free, reducing the forest. So the first step would be to be vegetarian. Buddhism is severely meat-eating. And that I find very strange because the Buddhist was, the Buddha was a vegetarian and advocated vegetarianism. So if you misuse a religion, I was in Burma for a week and Burma is very strongly Buddhist and everybody has to be a monk for one year. But the monks have to eat like bhikshus. You know, they have to eat what they are given. But instead of being a bhikshu and begging for food, they have food put out on the street every morning so that they can come and eat from there. And that food is just simply a soup made of blood. And it's got pig, it's got cow, it's got goat, it's got every form of meat in it. So to start your day with blood and animal entrails, what difference does it make how you pray? at the end of it? How will it give you Shanti? So I would suggest that we work amongst the Buddhists to turn them vegetarian. If the Karmapa can turn the Tibetans vegetarian, then anything is possible. And, uh, what do you think about the situation of uh, cow's milk in India? They are the biggest producer of the USA. And, uh, I don't know if you are aware of all the situation. We are not put in a good condition. So... It's true. Um, people, we drink a lot of milk here only because we think it has a religious root, which is not true. There's no religious background to milk because it was introduced to India by the British. But for some reason it's been confused and our religious leaders advocate the drinking of milk. We have Ayurveda and other... Uh, organi you know, village medicine advocating milk but the truth of the matter is that every single non-white is allergic to milk because we don't have lactase in our bodies only 40% of white people have lactase so they can drink milk but we can't so we drink it, it causes diseases but more importantly than what it causes us, it, we use cows for their milk by selling their calves for slaughter. So we are the biggest exporters of beef because the milk trade always feeds into the cattle, the meat trade. That's where they get all their animals from. So if we stop drinking milk, 
the whole meat trade would also dry up. And therefore it's important not to promote milk. And cows are in a terrible situation, terrible. Now, the meat that we export, much of it is from pregnant cows. So it's really sad how they are taken in overloaded trucks, taken to illegal slaughterhouses, cut open, their calves are taken out, sold separately. But how, how can we make a change about, about that situation? Like, for example, the milk industry here, how can we at least improve? I don't think we can stop people to, to drink milk. You can, we can, we have people working with dairies. The problem is that milk in itself, if you're going to drink the milk of a cow, then her own calf is going to go for slaughter. So how can you improve it? I don't know how you can improve it. Because the very nature of the beast, or of the exercise, means that the calf will go for slaughter. And if it doesn't go for slaughter, even if we keep the calf, they're locked up the whole day, they're separated from their mothers because so that they don't drink from the others directly. They're given the maximum of one kilo a day or half a kilo. So they lead a life of, you know, they're not allowed near their mothers, their babies. So which is worse, to die slowly by starvation because they're going to die anyway, especially the males. The answer to it is just simply to con make it a huge exercise on not to drink milk. I have been saying that for years. Because it's not good for us, it's not good for the cow, it's not good for the country.